like that. So basically, I can now take these up because the battery connector to the speed controller is in this front section. Goes through into this section and connects to that speed controller. The three motor cables then go through the bulkhead which is here into this latter section and connects to the actual EDF motor. Yeah, that's it. So I'm not gluing these back, I'm just going to take them back for now. And I've installed an AR410. At the moment I've got the elevator servo plugged in, it's not connected to anything. And I've got the throttle because I want to test the electric ductive fan unit. So that's just going to sit in there for now. I'm just about to bind. We're connected. Let's just put the throttle on. I think it's running backwards. <laughs> oh dear, this is why we do this stuff. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's running backwards. For nothing coming out the back. I just need to change any two of these over. So let me change the blue and the black around. It's really slow. See what we've got. Yeah. Right. Thank goodness for that. Right, so we're back on the underside of the shark. I've taped around the wheel support just to give it a little extra help. And I've marked the centre of gravity. Now the only thing they show you in the manual is that picture. And I had great trouble working out exactly where that dot is. I first calculated it to be here or here. And I was going to put the centre of gravity between them. Then I went online and having hunted around, I finally managed to find a center of gravity that was two centimeters from where this plastic plate ends so I just put a little pen mark on it and further checking around I found another posting that said it was three and three quarter inches to four inches from the leading edge so using this mark here which is the leading edge at the root I measured back three and three quarter inches put a bit of string around the body and it matched up on the ruler here so this is good I'm happy with that EDF units installed that's here so I can push this up and this is its cover This is all taped up. I made some small changes inside here. So what have I done? I've moved the servo from this side to the other side. And that's because these push rods flow 
much easier their movements much easier over here than if you tried to force them down to here so this is their natural place where they lie and I've stuck the receiver on this side and you'll notice the receiver has changed it's now a lemon RX which is stabilization so there she is it would be too obvious to call her Jaws so I'm gonna to have to find something else to call her and I have no idea how long she'll live real quick recap on this because you're probably bored to death with it up the nose here I've got a Lemon RX with stabilization and I've got the elevator servo at the battery compartment allows my battery to go right up into the nose and I'm using the Turner G2200 milliamp hour packs I put XT60 connector in to the speed controller I've had to put 120 grams of weight into this nose here I've got 60 grams on this side and 60 grams on that side it's a lot of weight but the CFG balances out perfectamondo moving along in this area here I've got the speed controller exposed to the environment the reason for that is there is absolutely no cooling whatsoever flowing through this shark so wish me luck thanks for watching stay safe stay well Watch out for the shark maiden. Cheers.